We just we just saw Morbius. Oh my god. Indeed. I broke my phone on um, there's this thing. This kickstand that I used to rotate if I broke it, so now it's like harder to intriguing. It's harder to do now. Um we're at Taco Bell doing another Taco Bell review. I know it's been a while. I can't even remember the last one was Spider Man. It's been like yeah. four months. Um but it's been that long, isn't what's it? cool here is we're actually doing a duo Taco Bell review for the movie and also for the Szechuan sauce that they're doing currently right now. It's black on the bottom. Oh, oh, there it is. Pretty cool. Okay, so the more resistance. Okay, so what do we? I don't even want to say what, what did we think of this movie. I'm gonna wait until the very end. All right, I will too. I'm trying to remember how this movie opens. <laughs> it opens with them in the jungle. Look at these cute little. Oh yeah, just randomly. It starts in Uncharted. They're just in the jungle, and Morbius Jared Leto pops out of his helicopter. He sets up like a trap or something. It just looks like a big harp. But he goes like, "We're gonna catch vampire." What's going on, McDonald's? What are you doing? He's like, talk about. He's like, "We're gonna cut." Well, I got, I got a uh, McDonald's notification. What would I talk about? Anyways, I'm like, "What's going on, Morbius?" Like, he, he sticks his hand out. He cuts his hand. Like, way more blood than coming in, and all the vampire bits just fly past him. And then it's like flashback 25 years earlier. And, um, he's a little kid. When he's first introduced as an adult, he's, like, got crutches, but then, like, a cripple. And, but then, like, he doesn't in the flashback, but another kid does, so I thought the other kid was him for, like, the first, no, like, ten crutches minutes. crutches in every flashback. I don't remember that, but the other kid was British. So it was really funny when he got beat up. Not the best part of the movie. I'd beat that. Thing. What was that for him? What were you saying? Hmm? What's he had crutches, just not, you didn't see him right away before, like, he showed up. I mean, you saw him, like, kind of get on them when he was going to the window. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's more of your sleeves. Anyways, he's got some kind of disease where they need to be vampires, so they become vampires. Why did I get teeth so much? Did you? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Here we go. Nice. All right, here we go. Seth wants us. I don't care about Morbius. We're, we'll get back to I, it. I care about Morbius, but there's more Morbius. We'll get back to it. Oh, my God. It, it looks gross. Looks like, mm. the Looks like black ichor. What am I doing here? You didn't know it. Well, let me try. Um, let me try it in its purest form. For well, purest form is your finger. <laughs> Why don't you just dip your tongue in it? It was a stronger flavor than I thought. Well, tastes like. Tastes like Szechuan sauce. It tastes like. Mm hmm. You want to try some? Oh yeah. Put some before. Alright. Last time we can talk about. Go ahead, dip. Kind of any reason why they can't just have this on the menu at all the time. Because otherwise, how, Rick and Morty fans will come and storm the place every single day. <laughs> every single day. I mean, Morbius fans. As well. I don't, think, I don't think it's bad. It's just weird with McDonald's. It's like. It wasn't as good as uh, Sweet and Sour. Sorry, yeah. Thank you. It's not as good with Taco Bell as with Chinese food, you know? For that, what more did you get? Oh shoot, I got, I didn't even look. Monopoly. It's not, oh. I got Monopoly. That's not oh, we part. must be out of uh, <laughs> That's fine, I'm happy with Monopoly. Oh, I'm gonna go and complain. <laughs> no, it's fine. And that's not the one Monopoly. Um, he asked for <laughs> no pickles. <laughs> he asked for a Mario Kart toy. What'd you say about Scott the Lost? Not Scott the Lost Monopoly, if I lost the point. Yeah. And um, back to Morbius. I'm a okay with getting Monopoly, even though I ordered half a meal. Let's play Specifically Monopoly for McDonald's, but, you know, whatever. It's specifically for Taco Bell. Yeah, see, sorry, I'm messing everything up. I'm losing my mind. Um. Anyways, I thought this movie was half wasn't half bad for the first like thirty minutes. Yeah, that was fine. I thought it was fine. Yeah. Uh, kind of boring, but fine. And then it got. Uh, I, I just can't get over everything they did, like the facial animation stuff. It just the weird facial animation looked terrible. It looked even worse on Matt Smith. I like Matt Smith. Matt Smith is see that funny dance. I just like him. He's my favorite actor. There's two parts that killed me in this movie, and one was when he just did this little dance. Yeah. I don't know what it is with just Marvel movies in general. I think the dance cut. Like, I feel like, I can't remember, was Killmonger their last, well, Thanos, um, their last, like, just superhero movies in general. DC movies do this too. Their villains are always just, like, 
goofy. Like, for some reason, they make them do dances, they make them laugh funny, they make them, you know, do, like, a dance montage of getting dressed and stuff. Like... I like the part... They just make... Like, yeah. they purposely... Yeah. I'm okay with it, because it's funny, but, like, they purposely make their villains just, like, not be taken seriously and just, like, laughable, and it's like, am I supposed to laugh here? Like, Even, no. even uh, Joker did a dance in Joker. My, that's my funny... Yeah, that's, like, that's my funny murder, cop murdering dance. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, Woody Harrelson in the last Venom movie. I mean, it wasn't that. I, I don't know. It, it was not that big haunted. It is weird. Anyways. Um. I'm lost. I forgot. Uh, uh, Smith, uh, he was British, and it was funny when his kid form got beat up. He did a funny dance. Not when he was a dolphin. Did he die? At the end, I'm, I don't care what jumping yeah. on the timeline. He did die. I think so. He's... I thought he cured him. No, no, no they made poison, but he didn't actually like, press the button to inject the poison. He just kind of stuck the needle in them, and then he died because the liquid never went down. He heard his true name, and then he died. For most of this movie, I was like, you know, this movie's not great, but it's just kind of mediocre. It gives There's me random vibes. Other than yeah, there other than like some other than some goofy stuff. There hasn't been anything, like, god-awful about it. It's just a mediocre movie, which sucks. But then, like, they just do, like, stupid broken logic. Like, he's on the bus, front-page newspaper, wanted for murder, serial killer, and then he meets up with the girl, and they just go to a cafe, and he, like, has his foot down. Mm -hmm. and, well, and, yeah, she, and she says on the bus, um, you shouldn't be here. Like, you're wanted. And he's like, yeah, let's go to a cafe. And he does, and then he just like steals some guy's lab for some. What was the point of that? He steals some guy's lab. They go back to his own lab, anyways. He finds out they're making counter for money, so he just goes there and. He's he like, says, "I'm Venom." Why were they on a boat in the beginning? Why was there? Yeah. Was in, in, in the water, yeah. so they're not doing anything illegal. Okay, I didn't catch that. Mm. That's on me. Yeah. Uh, but I like when he said, "I'm Venom." Did he do that? I'm pretty sure he said, "I'm Venom." You said it, so I put it in my mind that he said, "I'm I, Venom." That's what I also heard. So I found it. I'm the two. He says I'm Venom. How does he know? Makes who... No sense because I don't think anyone knows who Venom is. I don't. I didn't like when um, beginning when they're in a boat. You know, it's like he was on a boat that day. And then like all the mercenaries are just like, hey, let's shoot the guy who's paying us. <laughs> well, he was Pookie Vampire. I know, but it's like he was Chris Estrada, all right. It was like man, it's the just the weirdest like, of the indie movie. It just kind of felt really contrived. <clears throat> um, Anyways, I like Matt Smith. He's the main reason I saw this movie. He was goofy. Maybe it's not found if it was a little thing called Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage. They're gonna, fight, they're gonna team up, they're gonna reason, team up to fight Spider-Man in the Cinema Stick movie. Yeah, main reason I saw this movie was like, you guys are like, hey, let's watch Morbius tomorrow. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. You don't question, you just go see movies. Who's, who do we think we're gonna be in the Cinema Stick? Venom? Yup. Bane. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, we know, we know, Mister Vulture. Venom Vulture. For some, that was okay. So the other part that killed me, the after credit scene, two of the worst after credit scenes ever. Best. He just appears. It shows like the Spider-Man No Way Home magic, and he just appears. Venom. No. Vulture. Vulture. Sorry. Some some girl in the theater thought he was from Venom, <laughs> but yeah. he, he's from Venom. He was the. <laughs> he appears, and he's like, "What?" And they're like, "Oh, some random dude just appeared in the." In the jail cell. Well, I guess we'll let him go. I mean, that is pretty basic. They're just like, well, you didn't do any crime, so I guess you can just leave now. Yeah. And, um... Then he gets his full vulture suit back. Because yeah, he made it. The director said in his Twitter Q&A that when he spoiled the post credits scene in the movie, like, yeah, no, uh, he made his own... Well, also there was suit. also there was just trailer original footage in the Morbius trailers where, like, Michael Morbius was just walking down, like... A corridor, and Michael Keaton was just like, "Hey, Mr. Morbius, hey." You had a couple of <laughs> Spider-Man references. The line delivery of just was he phoning it in at the end there? Oh, definitely. Like it was just a random guy in the suit, and they could only afford. He just moving people. his head like this, and it's like, "Hey, from one I don't know why I'm here. I think it has something to do with Spider-Man." <laughs> I, really, I really hope Spider-Man's not actually in the Venomverse at all. That'd be awesome. Just th like <laughs> the thing is, I feel like we're gonna drag Andrew Garfield back and have him be in the Spider-Man Venomverse. Well, no, uh, Jared Leto said that he wants to fight Tom Holland Spider-Man. He wants to fight all three, bro. I'm, I'm, and when I first read that headline, I thought he meant that he wanted to fight all three actors. <laughs> <laughs> he does. But no, he was... He, imagine them he's like, I'd like to see Morbius take on... Why is Morbius a villain? Like, just because he's a vampire? Oh, uh, well, in the comics, he's probably more of a serial killer. 
but they did the Venom thing of like, I'm gonna redeem him. What did he? I was on Matt Smith. I was on sorry Milo, aka Lucian, aka Molly I was on his side for most of the movie. Yeah, he just got the vampire power. Like, well, I guess I'm bad now. Pretty much, yeah. I liked his whole little dance where he's getting ready, and then goes and tries to hit on a girl and fails. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But anyways, oh yeah, sorry, the after credit scene, um, he just meets Morbius in a field, and he's like... Thanks for meeting me, Doctor. <laughs> Thanks for meeting me, Doctor. Uh, I'm, I'm here now. I'm here because of Spider-Man. Um, I think people like us should work together. <laughs> and then Jared Leto just goes, how intriguing, and then just cuts off. Like, no, he forgot the, I think we can do some good together. I think we can do some good together, that's what Walter <laughs> says. Intriguing. Hmm, intriguing, and then... <laughs> and I was just dying laughing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Followed like two minutes. That's the hardest laugh I've ever, I've ever laughed at any Marvel movie, I think. At any movie, ever. No. Any Marvel movie. That was funny. <laughs> For the wrong reasons. Intriguing. Morbius has like a girlfriend wife. I guess she's a vampire too now. <laughs> yeah. For Morbius 2. They didn't really explain that one. Anyway, well. Morbius is gonna fall. Isn't Venom their biggest thing right now? Like, they got a sequel and the second one did like crazy good. Like, why wouldn't they have Venom up here in this one? Yeah. And so, but no, they need the Vulture to form a sense of sex with him. Morbius. They're gonna be a Craven movie. The, the iconic Sinister, Sinister Six is the iconic Sinister Six is Green Goblin, Sandman, Vulture. Bane. <laughs> no Bane. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I legitimately can't think of the three other ones. But anyway, uh, Craven the Hunter, which is getting a movie. Yep. He'll, he'll Even be though in. again, no Spider Man yet. Craven the Hunter's whole thing I, is that I know he's only, a hunter who wants to kill Spider-Man. I know it's only four people, but I always just think when I keep you keep mentioning Sinister Six, all I hear, all I picture is uh, me and the boys. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that's literally it, yeah. That's I'm literally trying to think of that image. Electro. Rhino. Mm -hmm. Rhino. Thank you. Yeah, that's literally, that's five, right? Wow. I get the feeling Rhino's not going to be in the so, like. No, no. He, if it, yeah, I mean, he could be in the Sinister Six, though, because if it is the Garfield Spider-Man, he was there. Right. He was, he was Paul Giamatti. Yeah. I am the Rhino! Anyway, so yeah, we got, we got Venom, we got, we got Morbius, we got, we got Ultra, we got Kraven, we need two more. Well, you're forgetting Bane. Give me one more. <laughs> I'm gonna guess they're gonna, they're gonna fall, they're gonna fall, they're gonna fall Big Wheel. Big Wheel? Isn't that a Batman villain? No, I think that's Spider-Man. No. Oh. I, I'm just gonna say, I think, uh... Morbius is a better Batman than Batman. Yeah, he's got bats in his name. Oh yeah, he defeats him at the end just by summoning a bunch of bats, mm -hmm. which is not a thing that he... Not something Batman does. Not something Batman does. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Big Wheel's definitely coming in. They just kind of shoot bats at Matt Smith, and Matt Smith gets knocked down, and then he stabs him. up again. I get knocked down. I get up again. Anyways, let's check out this Monopoly toy. That's what I'm excited for. I don't think there's anything else to say about this movie, honestly. I thought I had more to say, but... Yeah, uh, anyways, for have... most of it, it was just kind of mediocre, but then, like, it was bad. I'm gonna give my review, my official review right now. All right, here we yeah, go. Do it. Go ahead. Uh, Why don't you give it a 10? Uh, I'm gonna give it... Well, I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 1, first of all. But, I'm gonna rank the Venomverse. <laughs> Holy fuck. I can't wait to see him. Oh, dude, they got such sauce. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. This is truly the worst way to end the video. This is... We're not ending it. Okay. <laughs> Morbius, worst of the Venomverse, and then Venom, and then Venom, let there be carnage. All right? That's the official ranking of the Venomverse so far. It's only Spider-Man verse. Go. Venom. Uh, what is in the Sony Spider? Venom. Uh, Venom, let there be carnage. And it was okay. Morbius. There were funny faces all throughout the like last half of the movie. Is that your new D6? <laughs> My new D6, bro. I'm using Fist if we ever play in first What What is your review mod? Do you like it? Yeah, or, what is that? Pay attention. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy looking at my uh, Szechuan sauce at my... Uh... Why are you fucking oh, No, <laughs> making more work for your cult. I mean, yeah. your friends at Taco Bell. Ah! Okay, anyways. Anyways. D6. I'm only friends There's with the Sinister Six. the pieces. Oh my god, it literally is just Monopoly. Let's play. Look at this. 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 Look at
it has the rules here. Hold on. So all it is is the dice and the player pieces. Punch out property cards and token cards. Fold the token cards so they stand up. Assemble the die. Blah 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 blah. Each player chooses a token. Roll die. Move clockwise. You land on an unknown property. Take that property card. If you land on a property someone else owns, do nothing. Oh, so it's just like a simplified version. No, we're gonna play real monopoly right now. Full game. Real money. We could just switch this to a. To a <laughs> Monopoly. Taco Bell's Monopoly. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Monopoly Taco Bell. Yeah, sorry, man. We're really screwing that up. I'm not. I just keep forgetting where I am. It's such a small little. It's such a small little board. Yo, when's Taco Bell, where we are, Monopoly coming back? It's been a while, hasn't it? That used to be the shit. It's been years. It's been years. Bring it back. I want to win. I want to win my free medium fry. Well, you have to get enough free Taco Bell. Oh yeah, that Oh, thing. but they brought back, uh, what? Oh yeah, the Monopoly, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about it. They brought back, uh, nacho fries. Why didn't I get nacho fries here? Man. Dude, I had so... nacho fries the other day with Dustin. Are they good? So they are good. I don't even eat them with the cheese, I just... Yeah, but they won't make the beefy Frito burrito. What do they have this in here for? <laughs> what about burritos? They don't, they don't have the beefy Frito burrito, so what's even the point? They have a spicy burrito that has Fritos in it. That's not the same. They, did, they, a did they actually have the uh, the Cool Ranch spicy Dorito shells yet? Okay. I know they said they're having them, but then like the last couple times I've been there, they haven't had them. It's been a while since I've been. No, we're well, yeah, talking about right now. Well, True, they haven't had them today. I'm actually really happy with this. This is better than any Mario. I have so many Mario cards and Mario toys. Like, I don't have that. I hope you don't. <laughs> That's better than your, Mario. Like, yes. I will put this on my desk. I want to be like right in the middle of your keyboard. I can. I'm gonna rearrange my desk soon because I have to Just make room desk. for to display all my other shit I'm buying. <laughs> I'd rather come a couple months you're gonna have like a ton of Isaac figures to figure out where That's true. Going. I need to do that too. That sucks. <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, oh no, I have like 50 Binding of Isaac figures. I need to find a place for. Oh no. I, want, a I do want them all on the <laughs> on the desk. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to rearrange. I think anything. having jars just takes up more space. Yeah. You can stack them though. Yeah. <laughs> Put a lid on stack. I like like some Why do you have so many jars? jars? Why are they all full? Hmm. Uh, Sephiroth also was okay. I prefer sweet and sour. Did you prefer it over Morbius though? You gotta like mix yes. it with spicy I did prefer. Sounds. I did prefer that over Morbius. Okay, that's Like I said, oh. Morbius was okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's the worst kind of movie. Uh -huh. It's just... Uh -huh. Fun. Uh -huh. It's just, it's not fun. It wasn't fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It wasn't super boring, but it wasn't. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, it's it's uh on my camera. Look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. I can't mirror my. this. They can't even do this. It's so, oh, it's kind of. Like, mm. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Oh yeah, I give it a, I give it a, I don't know, four. Intriguing. Intri I give it an intriguing. <laughs> an intriguing. Audio. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna say one more thing. I hope, first of all. They try to form the sinister sticks, but they can't. They only get five. <laughs> they can never get a six guy. Maybe Tom Hardy drops out. I don't know. Um, and then yeah, they never have a Spider-Man in the Sony Spider Verse. So they just all get together for their movie, and they're like just trying to find Spider-Man, and they can't. They don't find him the entire movie. Like, they just they just do a bunch of other crimes, and they Who's try to Spider-Man. They like, don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like looking. They're like, there's got to be a Spider-Man. There's got to be a Peter Parker, and then like. Over the course of looking for Spider-Man to kill him for some reason, they, they, beca they no, they become uh, anti-heroes and like become like it's like a new Avengers. The, cent and the, the, after the credits, super the super six after credits. <laughs> Miles Morales shows up. <laughs> See this clap. I prefer just to be like a road trip between the six, not doing any five. Just just a road trip. five, and then trying to find Spider-Man in the six member. Yeah. Like, they maybe, maybe they're trying to get Spider-Man to be the six member because. Also, why did the Vulture, why did the Vulture hate Spider-Man again? He dated his daughter. Because at the end of Homecoming, he's like, oh yeah, no, Spider-Man, you're alright, you saved my life, you're cool. Yeah, I saw, I, because I also looked up what the after credit scene for this movie was, because I didn't know if I actually was going to go see it, and, um, people are, like, mad about that, too. It's like, okay, it's just totally walking back his character arc of, I love it. of accepting Spider-Man and being okay with him. So, that's cool. I cannot wait, stop playing with this guy's arm. <laughs> He's so funny. Did, didn't the guy just show up and was like, I think it was because of Spider-Man. It didn't sound like he was like, I don't know. It sounds like, like he wants to fight Spider-Man. That's why he wants to film yeah, the Sinister Six. Yeah, we should team up and do some good. They Let's go fight that Spider-Man ass. Okay, I'm done.